feel that burning. I feel it burning. Position my body. He's ready to work us, ladies. If you were a repressed housewife in the 80s or 90s with a strong desire for period piece penis, it's quite possible you scan through one of the thousands of romance novels that Fabio graced the cover of. These days, Fabio's appeal is largely ironic, in essence laughing at him and not wanking with him, which for the most part is what we'll be focusing on. And what is the stench? It's not fair, it's largely born out of jealousy, and if it helps, feel free to bash one out in anti-supercilious Fabio solidarity. Hmm. This is really delicious. Are you sure you don't want some? The frustratingly sexy Fabio's portfolio isn't limited to romance novel covers. He's also been financially encouraged to promote the use of margarine, appearing in a slew of adverts for I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, such as this one where a woman crafts him out of marble and has some toast with him before they get down to some heavy duty fucking. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. The taste you love without the cholesterol. What a work of art. Or this one where he sprays some liquid margarine on some asparagus before getting down to some heavy duty fucking. Since fantasies don't come true. For grotesquely ugly men with small penises, such as a friend of ours, it can be pretty exciting to see the beautiful people taken down a peg or two. Certainly, March 30th, 1999 was a day of bitter celebration for the genetically inferior, as Fabio attended the opening of a new roller coaster at Busch Gardens Williamsburg as the guest of honor. The ride's called Apollo's Chariot and is situated in the Italian section of the theme park. Who better to represent Italy except for a lot of people than Fabio and a group of gigging females dressed in Roman attire? The the event was marketed as the modern day Adonis, Fabio, accompanied by his Vestal Virgins, desperately poor women, going head to head with the Greco Roman god Apollo. The ride lasts for around two and a quarter minutes, of which half a minute is made up of plunges, and the rest is mainly pre drop clickety clacking uphill. Fabio and his hymen having crew ran into trouble during the first real drop. The coast is partially built over a body of water, which gives riders the sensation that they may actually hurtle straight down into the splash zone. And this is a patch of water that's teeming with life. For the geese that called it home, the opening of a new roller coaster proved incredibly traumatic. Traumatic as in, they needed to fly the fuck away as quickly as possible. In perfect synchronicity with a mother goose's desire not to die was Fabio's plunging roller coaster train, which caused a head on collision. Although the bird initially hit the front of the train, it's designed in such a way that punters are almost entirely exposed to whatever comes their way. And harmonizing like music created by Apollo himself, the bird pinged up and smacked directly into Fabio's annoyingly profitable nose. The impact caused a cut and swelling for Fabio, but no lasting damage. For the goose, it was fatal. In fact, Fabio contends that the bird hit his face with such force that the majority of the blood that covered his face wasn't his, and it went everywhere, spraying onto all five rows of white toga-clad women, along with what will go to our deathbeds claiming is goose shit. This sad looking woman directly behind Fabio looks the worst affected, appearing to discover a large clump of shit next to her eye before retching. For us, one of the most compelling threads of the accident's rich tapestry is how professional the toga clad women are. Although likely horrified, their reactions suggest they were briefed by park officials to keep smiling, keep having fun, and you'll get your check in six to eight weeks. The Stepford Ancients definitely earned their money that day. Except for this one, who looks like she's just witnessed her parents being shot. Or more accurately, a goose exploding in Fabio's face and coating everyone in blood and shit, all while being locked into a roller coaster. Yeah, there's really nothing that does it comparative justice. In the aftermath of the incident, Fabio's focus was on safety, urging the part to find ways to do better. What happened is like, I. I got like a 20 pound goose around my face. Bush Gardens spokeswoman Cindy Sarko said, What we have done is put some netting down there as a safety measure. I think everyone understands it was a bizarre incident. Nothing like that has ever happened in the history of the park in 25 years. We've had no incident before then and none since then. We'd like to believe Cindy, but we're insanely cynical, owing largely to our small penises. Wait, in the theme park world, this isn't an isolated incident. 
Here's a pigeon flying into a boy's face at Thorpe Park in England. He's in plain clothes, so likely not employed by the park, and therefore free to cup his eye in recognition of his pain. Here's another pigeon incident. This time cameras weren't there, but the victim suffered injuries to the face and neck that made the news. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god. You're gonna go on that roller coaster again? Yeah. A spokesperson for Six Flags Great Adventure, where the accident took place, said, Nothing like this has ever happened before. One more incident, caught on camera at Ferrari Land in Spain, during the grand opening of another roller coaster. So we guess it's something about the birds not yet being used to the roller coasters that causes them to get in the way. Here about five seconds into the ride, what looks like a park employee, complete with uncomfortable suit and important person neck ribbon credentials, gets hit by both a bird and it shit. And if we look in slow motion, we can see that the shit leaves the bird before what was presumably fatal impact is made. So maybe the last thing the Fabio goose did before it smacked into the Fabio train was a last minute panic shit, rather than the shit coming out of her on impact like a liquid filled whoopee cushion. These are important questions, but we'll never know for sure. Anyway, soon after being hit by the bird and it's shit, the guy realizes what's happened, smells what's on him, informs his colleague, and then, like the toga virgins, goes straight back to trying to look like he's having fun. What a pro. Finally, here's another goose collision that occurred at Darien Lake in New York. This one was more serious, giving the victim, Amanda Henry, a concussion. And like Bush Gardens, this roller coaster is seductively built over a body of water. The victim had this to say, Everybody laughs because it's a goose. But yeah, that goose could have killed me. They almost entice them to come there, and then my head kills a poor goose. I'm not mad at the goose. I just want to put some goose awareness out there. In response, a Darien Lake spokeswoman referred to the incident as a very rare thing. We wonder if that rare would be changed to total denial of any occurrences if Fabio hadn't changed the game forever by catching a goose in his face in 99. Keep fighting the good fight, Fabio. Through your pain and shit-spattered suffering, you've blown the whistle on what appears to be an industry-wide problem. Keep fighting the good fight. Long. I like a 20 pound goose around my face. Hard. Ice is coming over. And all night long. Penis. Did you enjoy that? Let us know in the comments section. And please, like and subscribe if you want more.